Hey guys, in this video, we are going to build this beautiful tic tac toe UI with HTML and CSS. And very soon, I will build the JavaScript version for this. And for now, let's build this with HTML and CSS. So, you can see that we have this beautiful title with two different colors, and we have the X and O turns, and we have this beautiful board with pneumorphic design. And we can place the X and O icons inside the cells. And if a user wins, it strikes the winning streak. So with that being said, let's jump into it. Inside my VS code, I have the empty HTML and CSS files and the X and O icons that we're going to use. And inside our HTML file, we have the basic HTML template. So our title will be tic tac toe. And link our CSS file here. So inside our body, we have a container. And inside our container, we have our tic tac toe title h1. I will place each of the center letters in a span. So just to make a different color, I will say tick. for tick, tack and toe. All right. And after our title, we have our turn. One for X turn. This is for X turn. And one for O turn. And after our turn, we have our board. Inside our board, we have three three rows, right? What I'm saying is, inside our board, we have three rows, which is for this row and this row and this row. So let's create a new called row. And inside that, inside each row, we have three columns, which is this. So inside our row, I will create a column. Inside our column, we have a cell, which is this circle right here. So inside our column, we have our cell. And inside the cell, we place these icons. So inside each row, we have three columns, right? So simply copy and paste this two more times. And this row for two times. All right, this is all for our HTML. Now let's style this. Let's open with live server. And this is how our tic tac toe looks like. Now we have to style this up. So I will remove margin and padding for everything. Margin zero and padding zero and box sizing order box. Now you can see we have a little margin and padding for this. And if I save this, that will be removed. Now let's target our container. For our container, let's add a background color so that you can see what happening. I will copy this color. I will copy this color right here and add it here. Nice. Now let's add display flex for this. And align items center and justify content center. Oops, this will be flex and flex. And let's add a minimum height of 100 VH, which is the height of the screen. And, and flex direction should be column. And now we have our title and our turn and and this one showing the our board because it, it doesn't have any content inside that so now let's target our column which is inside our board so i will add a width of 100 pixel for this and a height of 100 pixel and let's add a background color of anything just to show you what's going on and a margin of one pixel. Now you can see we have nine columns which is aligned horizontally 
so just to make this vertically let's target our row and add a display of flex now you can see we have three rows with three three columns inside that now let's copy this background color changes to here all right now let's add a box head for this of this black color and let's decrease opacity to something like this nice and add a border radius of 5 pixel maybe 2 pixel enough all right now target our board and for our board add a background color of this column yes. and add a border radius 5 pixel and box side of 5 pixel 5 pixel blur 5 pixel of this color you can see this beautiful box header for this so remember inside our row inside our row we have these columns three of these columns inside each column we have our cells right here so now let's target that cell For now let's add a background color just to see what happening right there so i added a background color of brown and you can see nothing nothing affected there so i will add a width of 80 percent and a height of 80 percent now you can see our cell is inside each of these each of these columns so I will remove this background color and I will add a box shadow inset 13 pixel and 20 pixel of this of this color and inset minus 13 pixel minus 13 pixel and 20 pixel of blur of this color and let's decrease the opacity to something like this now you can see we added the box shadow and let's add a border radius of 50 percent so to make to make our circle into center of this column inside our column let's add display flex for this and align items center and justify content center now our circle is is in center of our column now let's change the box shadow values for this so simply remove this and let me quickly copy paste that box shadow value right here all right now we have this beautiful board design here and after that let's style our title and x and o tons after our container after our container let's target our title let's add a font size of 22 pixel and inside our container let's add font family of sans serif and for our title our color will be this text color right here let me copy that color right let's add a text shadow of 2 pixel 2 pixel of this and inside our title let's target our span 
and for that color will be white smoke awesome let's add a letter spacing i pixel all right now let's target our turn and for that add a margin 80 pixel top and bottom and left and right auto and add display flash to that and let's add a box shadow of 5 pixel 5 pixel and 5 pixel simply the same, exact same values right here and let's add a width of 300 pixel and justify content space around and let's make this box shadow to 2 pixel this should be nice I guess all right this will be awesome and inside our turn I want to make this X turn in a different background and I will add this background color and you can see this background is applying only to the text so to make it apply to entire width inside our turn let's target our P type let's add a width of 100% so that it occupies off of the space and to make the text into center text align center and add a padding of 10 pixel and border radius of 5 pixel and for our turn also let's add a border radius of 5 pixel awesome and color will be white smoke and font weight bold all right this is awesome and now let's add the icons inside our board so for that let's open our html file and inside our first cell let's add image set our images or x which is this and you can see our our icon is not in the center so let's go to our cell like cell right here which is the parent of this icon for this add a display flex and justify content center and align items center all right this is awesome and inside our cell 2 let's add image whoa let me copy paste this quickly and inside this we have our O and inside this we have our X and inside this we have our O and inside this we have our X and inside this we have our X so this is the winning streak so we have to cross that so to do that I will add a line here so inside our CSS file let's target that line let's add a width of 100% and a height of 5 pixel in the background of this gold color now we can see this line is here so let's make the position as absolute you can see this big line here so to make that into this column inside our column add position is relative so this line is inside the column so we have to rotate that transform rotate rotate z to 45 degree now you can see this line isn't occupying the entire width of this column so i will make this width to 150 percent so now you can see our line is outside the column so to remove that set our column add overflow hidden and so now let's add this line to these two columns inside our html file copy this and add here 
and for our last cell slime awesome fantastic god yes we made this beautiful tic tac toe ui with html and css so very soon i will bring the javascript version for this so this is all for this episode i see you guys in the next video